Hello everybody, this is Neil Filer, a rod filer, and if you're wondering what this middle name is, it's my mother's surname, and I decided to adopt it as well as uh, to honor my mother. Um, so this is where I speak about the celestial soup we're all swimming in and affects us all zodiac signs. Um, today we're going to be spe speaking about the week between February 1st to 7th, 2021, and what do we have in the sky? And before that, I want to remind you that everything is 30% off special COVID-19 uh, discount for my community, all readings and courses. Other than that, um, I want to begin by saying that this week the, there's a heightening of Aquarian energy in the sky. There's a big stellium in Aquarius once Venus steps in on Monday the 1st into Aquarius and then we're going to have Jupiter and the Sun and Saturn and Mercury and Venus all in Aquarius. It's a field day for Aquarius and uh, not for people in the sign of Aquarius okay necessarily but uh, for the Aquarian energy. What is the Aquarian energy? Let's talk about it a little. First of all it takes us forward, it demands an upgrade, it is futuristic. This is a time to accumulate change, to um, to assimilate change into our life, to be as flexible as we can be, to understand that this is time to explore the new in our lives and to draw it in and to be uh, free of the old. This is a time to emancipate ourselves. There is a quickening, a quickening of the pace. Things become faster. We are stepping out of the this very hard time of the plague, you know, and into the quickening of changes in society that ensue. This is an unstable time and we can feel the instability and we can feel our demands rising towards an upgrade between the relationship in the relationship between us and governments. We can see a lot of struggles between civic society and governments around the world, protests even growing height uh, and heightening further and we could feel that we are intolerant and rebellious towards everything that we feel is still stuck and backward and primitive. We have to be careful not to be um, cold and distant and, and, and maybe even cruel towards those who we see in our lives as primitive or backward or trying to hold us back. Um, yeah. So Venus is going to be in Aquarius for about the next four weeks. This is a time that our relationship with the material plane, with our bodies, with the way we make money and value in our life, with our self-value, with the value we get from the relationships we have from, with others and indeed our relationships with others, not just our relationship with ourselves and the physical plane is under change and an upgrade. It's again an unstable time and a time of renewal and a rebellious time. This is a time that we could be intolerant towards the people that we already have a connection with in our lives. So we better watch that. Ooh, let's fix this. So hopefully that fixes it. Um, so where was I? Yeah. Other than that, um, it's a feisty week in the sky. We're still feeling, and this week it's going to be exact, the square between the Sun and Mars. This is a time that we can get angry faster, so that we can go from a hundred to, uh, uh, from a zero to a hundred in just a few seconds, and we could become more impulsive. And generally, it's a time to keep ourselves um, safe, and become more careful in general when we're jogging, when, when we are on the roads, when we are cutting, cutting salads or <laughs> anything like that and in our relationships. So Sunday the 31st um, starts with a lot of energy, dynamic energy, but ends more lethargic and forgetful. Monday is that day that Venus moves into Aquarius and we have the exact 
square between the Sun and Mars. Um, there's a black moon from 5.30 a.m. Eastern European time until 2 p.m. This is a great day whenever, I mean, whenever there's a black moon, do not start new things. You could do anything, just don't start new things on a moon void, of course. Um, however, this is a great day to take things forward that you've began before, strategically, and actually widen them. A wonderful day for it, really. I mean, the trines in the sky are wunderbar. Um, Tuesday, the second, beautiful day in the sky. Really a good energy day. Um, we can utilize it. We need those energy, those energies at times like this. And Wednesday starts okay. It's good for communication. But then as it draws longer into the day, there's a very um, judgmental energy, harder energy when it comes to relationships, when it comes to the relationship with ourselves. So we have to be careful not to be too judgmental and castrating with our attitude. There's a black moon from 8.15 a.m. until 4.15 p.m. Eastern European time. Tuesday the 4th, hard day in the sky. Two T-squares, one after the other. First the moon squares Saturn that is squaring Uranus and opposing the moon and then the moon squares the sun that is squaring Mars and opposing the moon. We really have to be careful on that day with our um, intolerance, with our anger issues, with um, and, and you know even if we if we ex experience this from another person in our lives we have to I mean, we don't have to, but it would be good to remember not to answer fire with fire, not to try to teach them a lesson, you know, which often comes with these kinds of um, aspects in the sky. Friday the 5th is problematic with communications until about midday, but then it becomes very nice for enjoying anything intimate whether it's familial with your family and friends um, the comfort of your own home or with someone you love intimately or sexually uh, there's a black moon from 12 20 p.m until 5 20 p.m eastern european time saturday the sixth beautiful day in the sky really a lot of sex styles great day to be outside doing things the conjunction between Venus, the planet of love, and the great judge Saturn is happening on that day. This is a time that our relationship with the physical plane, with the body that we're sitting in, with value in our life and money and the way we earn it, the relationships we have with others, they all come under scrutiny. They are all tested. And when Saturn tests something, it doesn't care whether... Uh, uh, this is the way we wished it to be or dreaded it to be it shows us how it is it shows us the so-ness of things from the word they are so as they say in Zen Buddhism Genjutsu the so-ness of things and a lot of understandings and, 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 and you know a lot of coins can fall and we can understand a lot of things that would cause us maybe to enter relationships or to um, understand their true nature. This is a time that generally we say we end up having less relationships, but the ones that do remain become stronger because their essence is proved, their value is proved, and they are actually becoming more stable at that time. And just a day later, Venus is squaring Uranus, you know, which is something that is happening all along the time, at the same time, you know. So, it's not only about leaving and walking away from things that no longer have value in our life, from relationships and tendencies that don't anymore hold any, any, any significance for building our future, but it is also about understanding we need to be flexible and, and renew and upgrade those relationships those exact relationships that we don't know the world exactly 
but we are here to still explore it so a lot of changes and upgrades as well um sunday the 7th black moon from 8 15 a.m to 11 p.m all day long um eastern european time uh, other than that nice sex cells in the sky and one square to uh, Neptune that can make us make mistakes or not understand things clearly or feel just a little misty and lethargic over that day on the 8th Monday we're having a Kazemi Mercury in the heart of the Sun in a uh, inferior conjunction if I'm not mistaken and this is a great time to visualize to make ceremonies and to concentrate a little and think how you would like your next month and a half to three months to look like so that's about it for today i want to thank you for listening for commenting and for sending these videos out to more people and sharing them this is nia filer may we all live long and prosper bye, -bye.